Hey everyone, Andrigats here and today we'll delve into all of the changes and updates to the Noble Garden event which kicks off today and runs until the 8th of April, so it's basically lasting for a full week. If you are also after the meta achievement, what a long strange trip it's been, it's worth noting that you'll need to complete the 8 associated achievements which also grant you the Noble title. So now is the best time to actually start working on that. This year the Noble Garden event introduces some exciting new rewards, including the novel flying carpet, fresh trasmog options, a lovely duckling pet and cool toys. But let's take it from the start and explore all the goodies this event has in store for us. This holiday event is taking place in various areas where you can hunt for eggs in order to collect noble garden chocolates. This currency allows you to purchase special goodies from the event vendors, however it's important to know that once the event concludes the chocolates will disappear from your bags, so be sure to make the most out of them while you can. They basically can be saved for next year. While hunting eggs is the primary method of gathering this currency, completing quests also yields some chocolates. Alright, let's take a closer look now at what's new for this year's event. A brand new quest line kicks off with the What the Duck quest, available from two different locations depending on your faction. For the Alliance, you can pick this quest up from Xenia Brooks in Goldshire in Elwyn Forest, while Horde players can head to Durodar and specifically in Razor Hill and speak with Silnaria Fairflame. This is actually a very fun quest line and completing it also rewards you with a duck disguiser toy. So basically what this toy does, it is summons an egg and when interacted with it transforms you into a duck. The toy offers various color options to choose from, though you do need to unlock these colors first. And you can do that by completing this quest. While you are also in the area of Goldshire or Razor Hill, be sure to keep an eye out for Dead and Swift Plume. You have a daily chance to defeat him for potential rewards. He can spawn on top of a large nest which should be marked with a prominent star on your map for easy location. To summon him you'll need to locate a giant golden egg in the area and bring it to the nest. This will force him to spawn. However, like with any other Blizzard event, there is a tiny possibility of uh, encountering bugs that may prevent the egg or even Didan from spawning. Keep in mind that the egg also follows a spawn timer of around 5 to 10 minutes, so if it does bug out, you'll need to wait for another egg to appear. Since it's still early in the event, any bugs should hopefully be addressed soon. Once you defeat him, he drops a quest item that grants you a basket, which may contain several rare items. Among the potential reward is the Noble Flying Carpet, an exclusive mount available for characters between level 60 and 70. However, it's worth noting that the drop rate for this mount appears to be quite low, as again with any other Blizzard event. In addition to the Noble Flying Carpet, the basket may also contain pieces from the Spring Reveler's Turquoise set. This includes 6 pieces, a sun hat with a dress, a shirt, pants, boots and belt. And yeah, as you can tell, it can also drop this same item multiple times each day. Interestingly enough though, this set shares a similar appearance to items available from the trading post. So if you like this Trasmog look, be sure to check out the trading post as well. The Trasmog pieces do seem to have a better drop than the mount itself. And as I said, you can farm this with many alts. As the event is only lasting for a week, it's really crucial for Blizzard to address drop rates and bugs soon. Currently we're in the dark about the drop chances, whether these rewards are untenable within the event's time frame or if they will take years to acquire, similar to other holiday mounts. For the time being, all we can do is continue farming with alts and truly hope for the best. While it's frustrating to encounter another FOMO event, this is the nature of holiday events in WoW and it's unlikely to change anytime soon. We can only hope for the first attempt each day to have a greater chance to yield rewards, but at the moment this is still speculation until confirmed. Having said that, be sure to check the comments section for any updates as we gather more concrete information. From the Noble Garden vendors you'll find even more goodies to purchase, among them is the new Battle Pet, the lovely duckling, a charming pig duck available for 250 chocolates. Additionally, players can earn decent gold by purchasing the Spring Strider mount during this event and selling it later on in the auction house. While it's quite cheap now, its value usually increases significantly a few months down the line, so if you are interested in efficient egg farming and tips for maximizing your gold and rewards, 
I do have a quick video dedicated to this topic, but you can check it after finishing this one. Additionally, there is a cool toy that transforms your dragon riding drake into a festive mount equipped with a basket filled with eggs. The Noble Gardener's Hearthstone toy can be yours for 250 Noble Garden chocolates, along with plenty more Trasmog options to explore. Be sure to check them all out at the Noble Garden Merchants. That's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and ring the bell to stay up to date. Thank you so much for watching and best of luck with your drops. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!